Hey everyone, this is Brian from Automazzy. So today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of our GMC S90 radio. So this is going to be pretty much how we ship it out to you. This is how you're going to receive it. Okay? So I'm just going to go through all the, open up the box, show you everything it comes with, all the accessories, and all of that. Okay? So right when you open the box, you get three papers in there. Okay? So this is for the both. If you do have both, you would follow these steps in order for the radio to become, um, you know, so it can work with your both system. Okay, you do get one of these, which is a before and after. If you actually take a picture of your stock radio and then another picture of our radio installed in it and send it to us, email us or anything like that, you actually can choose one of these free items here. Okay, and then the third pa paper, this is a before installation sheet. So this shows you three main things that you gotta make sure you do while installing the radio. Okay, first one is the the two top screws of the radio, which I'll show you right now. The parking brake cable, and then tells you all about the harnesses to make sure that everything is properly connected in order for the radio to work the way it should. Okay, so now in here in the actual box itself. You do get the radio, which is covered in styrofoam, okay, and it's in a bag, okay. So over here, so there's the radio itself, okay, and then on the inside you get a box with all the accessories. So I'm going to open this box and lay out all the accessories and tell you what everyone is, okay. So you do get the manual and the remote control. Okay. You got a GPS antenna. You got the antenna adapter for the GMCs. You get these four screws. That's in order to uh, to put the brackets on the side if you do need them. Which on these on most of the GMCs you don't, because uh, they'll just go right in here. You get the RCA cables. You get the USB connection. So this is actually on a lot of GMCs. It has that um, factory USB on the back of the on the back of the radio, and it goes all the way up to sometimes on your armrest or anything like that. So this is the actual connection. You would connect one end on the back, and this will go into the stock into the stock harness of the radio to keep that. Uh, working for you, okay, and then of course in this little bag You get the main harness with the CAN bus and The little the sound receiver this is actually we call it the hockey puck This is to retain all your uh, factory sounds whistles and all of that Okay, so you would connect this into the main harness Right in here Okay. I don't know if you can see that really clearly, but just like that. Okay, it just snaps right in, and that's how you retain the the actual sounds, beeps, whistles, and all that on your uh, door chimes and all that. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Um, you also get the three millimeter uh, Velcro. This is for the. Uh, you could use it for the hockey puck, but the hockey puck does have. The double sided tape here already you just remove this put it wherever you want or you can use it for the actual gps antenna gps antenna is magnetic so if you just put it in metal it'll stay if not you can definitely use the velcro that we supply okay so i mean that's pretty much everything it comes with uh, let me see if i could uh put this down like that you can actually see all the items here but uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, it comes with everything you need in order to install this radio. So, I mean, you know, it's pretty uh, straightforward, out of the box. Uh, like I said, it does come with those three papers for you to, uh, you know, change the bolt settings and to make sure to remove these top screws here. Okay. By default, they always come with it. Um, it's in order to keep the DVD from jumping, moving around during shipment. Uh, but if you don't remove those two screws, the CD won't go in all the way. So it's just going to take it in halfway and spit it right out. Okay, so that's a very common issue. So always make sure to remove those two screws. 
Okay. Here in the back, you can see all the plugs. Okay. So on here is where everything would go. We have right here for the main harness. Move this closer so you can see. Okay. So you have for the main harness here. Right here is for the RCAs. The USB for the stock one. And then you have your radio input. Okay. So I mean, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. You get all these all the harnesses. Everything goes connected straight to your stock uh, radio. So you don't have to cut or splice anything. And that's pretty much it. GPS antenna. You can run it wherever you like. You know, it's always better to put this on, um, you know, on the top or somewhere where it's visible so you can get really good signal for the GPS. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, <clears throat> one main thing on this harness, which I'll show you, is when you do receive it. So this harness here will go into the main harness, into the main plug here okay and then on that harness you'll see this little plug you always have to make sure that this plug goes connected in here just like that okay this is what retains your steering controls and all of those features so if you don't do this your steering controls won't work okay so always make sure that when you do plug it in you plug in the main harness and then run this plug all the way over here these plugs only go in one way, so don't force them in. It'll go in into where it's supposed to. Okay? And then also, always make sure that the CAN bus is properly plugged in and it's not loose because this is what actually powers on the radio and all that. Okay? So, I mean, that's pretty much the GMC S90 full unboxing. Um, I showed you all the accessories, where everything goes and what everything does. Um, you know, like I said, there's nothing really hard about this radio to uh, connect it, but, um, you know, all you got to do is just follow the plugs, connect all those harnesses, and you're ready to go. Alright, so hopefully you guys found that helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to us. Check out our other videos. We are going to be bringing out some videos on installation uh, for you to follow. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.